Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So before we go ahead, since this is the first introduction to calculus, let me give you a fair idea on what the calculus is. In the world of calculus, we have two important terms. The first term is called differentiation and the second term is called integration. Please note, calculus is all about differentiation and integration. So what is differentiation and what is integration? Differentiation is nothing but is the process of finding slope of a curve. Slope of a curve, if you have a curve and if you want to find slope, you can use differentiation. And what is slope? Slope is nothing but change in y with respect to change in x. That is change in y with respect to change in x. This is called slope. For example, if you have this car moving, so generally, you know, you have a car, you go out somewhere and the car moves. And if you plot this distance with time graphs, for example, let's suppose this is my distance, my y is distance covered and x is the time. At t is equal to 0, you are at 0 and, no, and you keep accelerating and somehow you get this kind of graph. At t is equal to, let's suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds, you are here. And now you want to find different things. For example, at this point, t is equal to 3, you want to find the speed. Speed is nothing but change in distance by change in time. That is delta x by delta t. I'm talking about the instantaneous speed. At this point of time, you want to find the instantaneous speed. Then what you will do? If you have this distance time graph, then you do just have to find slope of this point. So at this point, the slope of the graph is nothing but the instantaneous speed. Correct? And that is determined using differentiation. Just to tell you what is the difference between instantaneous speed and average speed. For example, you are traveling from, let's suppose, city A to city B. And the city A to city B, uh, the, difference, uh, the distance is, let's suppose, 100 kilometers. And you cover the whole distance in, let's suppose, 2 hours. Correct? So your average speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Correct? Because total distance by total time. Your average speed is 50 kilometers per hour. But your speed was not constant. Somewhere you found the traffic was more, you, your vehicle was moving at a lesser speed, and then you you know, you got some highway and you were speeding up and then again you got some you know, traffic area and the vehicle was moving at a slower speed. So you try, your speed is not constant. And somewhere in the, let's suppose in the highway, this is a highway area, a police guy catches you and he tells you are over speeding. But if you tell that I cover 100 km in 2 or my speed is 50 km per hour, that is not a valid answer because that police guy is not interested in your average speed but he's more interested in your instantaneous speed what is your speed at that particular point of time so in your highway your speed was 100 km per hour let's suppose and here you had little lesser speed maybe 10 km per hour because the traffic was more so average came out to be 50 km per hour but finding instantaneous speed is difficult how to find that so if you have this graph at any point of time you want to find the instantaneous speed, you just take that point and find the slope. And to find the slope, what you do? You just find the differentiation of this equation at this point of time. So you learn more when we learn this differentiation more, but just understand the basic concept. Differentiation is not about is just about finding the slope of a curve. That is dy by dx. Change in y with respect to x. In this case, change in distance with respect to time. This is just one example. And one example that I told you was, you know, you are traveling from city A to city B and police guy catch you in a point, let's suppose at this point C, and he wanted to find what was your speed at that particular point of time. And that particular time, his speed, your speed was 100 km per hour, but your average speed is 50 km per hour. So to find average speed, 
how you got this you use differentiation if you have the slope if you have the graph you just differentiate it you get in this case differentiation will give you change in y by change in x correct here y is nothing but distance that is delta distance by x is time delta time and this is nothing but instantaneous speed please note it is not average speed it is an instantaneous speed so that is one application of differentiation the next topic is integration integration is used to find area between graph of a curve and x axis the whole point is you have this graph and then what you do is you find the area for example this is my graph and i have my curve like this right and i now want to find the area this area this area the area between the curve and the x axis what can i do i can use the process of integration and what integration does is it just cut this area into small section small area so it will cut all this area into small small areas correct small small areas and then it will add all these areas so if you see integration and differentiation are, are totally different in differentiation we find slope d by by dx in integration what we do we find area and we add up we cut the area into smaller and then add up so integration is more about adding for example for the same graph when you want to find differentiation you divide y by x correct but integration is nothing but you multiply y into x because that's what you get area you say y and you say x you multiply you get area so differentiation and integration you can say that both deals with a curve both deals with a curve which has x and y in case of differentiation we say delta y by delta x in case of integration we say delta x into delta y and we add all the small small areas we get and get a combined area so that is all about differentiation and integration to start with i think it should be enough for you to understand what is differentiation and integration just in the layman term and then we can now proceed with the differentiation chapter thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again